Welcome, welcome to Woman in Crypto. I'm your host, Carlos, and today I want to talk about a logical fallacy that I see a lot in the Bitcoin space. The official phrase is post hoc ergo propter hoc, which is Latin. It literally means it came after it, therefore it was caused by it. And this is talking about two events. We'll call them event A and event B. And when they happen together, it's easy to say, well, A caused B. But there's actually a lot of different scenarios that those could come about. Maybe A caused B, maybe B caused A, or maybe they're just a coincidence. They're not related. Or maybe there's a hidden cause that's causing both A and B. And that's what I want to focus on in this video. Scenarios where it looks like one is causing the other, but actually there's a hidden cause. So let me give you a specific example. There's a time period where ice cream sales are high. People are buying and eating a lot of ice cream. And during that same time period, drownings are high as well. People are drowning to death. So the fallacy would be to say eating ice cream or buying ice cream increases your risk of drowning. And that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's probably something going on. So the connecting event here, the hidden event that you're not considering is it's summertime. During the summer, it's hotter outside. So people buy more ice cream. It's also hotter outside. So people go swimming more. And so that singular event, the fact that it's summer, is creating both symptoms, the ice cream purchasing and the swimming, which increases the risk of drowning. So this is actually something that comes up a lot. Take a look at this example from the Bitcoin Cash space. There's a big proponent of Bitcoin Cash, Roger Veer, who owns a lot of Bitcoin Cash, and he also promotes Bitcoin Cash a lot. So he owns it and he promotes it. Does he just promote it because he owns it? That's the accusation. That's the fallacy to say he's just promoting it because he owns it. But I think there's a hidden cause here because I know Roger's ideology. He's a strong libertarian. He really believes in people being free from government oppression. So he wants cryptocurrency to be usable as money because if you can use crypto as money instead of a national currency, that frees you up from some of the ways that governments can oppress you. So Roger, as a libertarian, likes Bitcoin Cash because it has low fees, which makes it easy to use as money. So Roger owns Bitcoin Cash because he likes it, and he promotes Bitcoin Cash because he likes it. So the hidden cause here, his political ideology, is actually why both of these things are happening. And so I would challenge you when you see two events and it looks like they might be correlated, look for a hidden event that might be causing both of them because often as not, you might turn something up. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.